Okay, to start by creating in the runtime virtual texture. So go to edit, project settings, and find virtual texture. Enable virtual texture support, and restart the engine. Okay, now that you are back, we're gonna go and create new folder, and we're gonna go and create a new landscape material. We're gonna create an instance, and put the instance on your landscape material. Now we're gonna open the landscape material, and create the base color. I'm gonna set the specular to zero, and the roughness to one. And I will also convert this color to parameter. To set up the runtime virtual texture, we want to take the color from the landscape and apply it on the bottom part of the grass. So we're gonna need to create a virtual texture output in our landscape material. And we're gonna apply the base color to the base color. Then we also gonna need to create a runtime virtual texture. So in the materials and textures, click the runtime virtual texture. So in these settings, we're gonna change the base color because our landscape is just one simple color. It doesn't have any normals or roughness, specular. So we're gonna just pick base color to save the performance. And we're gonna go now to our grass material and we're gonna find virtual texture sample. Okay, and we want to apply this color that we have on our landscape only to the bottom part of our grass. So we're gonna go and replace this second color with the runtime virtual texture. And we're gonna also need to plug world position to the world position. And we're gonna need to set this virtual texture to the virtual texture that we have created. Now we're gonna go to our landscape and find the virtual texture. We're gonna add a new element and select the runtime virtual texture that we have created. And now we're gonna add a runtime virtual texture volume. We're gonna select here our runtime virtual texture and we're gonna select our landscape and set bounds. And for some of you, this will gonna turn black. And this actually took me a while to figure out. So you can't have just a flat landscape. And I don't know why, but to fix it, we're gonna just go to landscape. We're gonna set the tool strength to 0.1 and scale our brush. And we're gonna just paint on our landscape. And then we're gonna smooth it out. And now if you go and set bounce, it's gonna work. So you can see that the bottom of our grass is the same color of our landscape. Okay, so I'm going to change this color a little bit. And if you want a really simple and stylistic grass, you can just go and plug the random virtual texture into base color. And you can just have this grass to be the same color as the landscape. And now I'm gonna go to foliage and I'm going to delete all the grass. So I want this grass to spawn on the whole landscape without me painting it. So I'm going to create a new landscape grass type. I'm gonna open it and here I'm gonna add a new element. And in the grass mesh I'm gonna pick my stylized grass. I'm gonna save this for now and we're gonna play with these settings later. Now I'm going to our landscape material and what I want to do is to create a second color for the landscape so I can paint it later. And this is going to be a dirt I want to paint. So to make these two colors on the one landscape we're gonna need to find a landscape layer blend. And here we're gonna add two new element and which one of them I will call grass and second is gonna be dirt and I'm going to plug this green into the grass and this brown into the dirt and we're gonna plug this layer blend into runtime virtual texture and into our landscape material. When we go back you can see that the landscape turned black so we're gonna need to go to the landscape in a paint and sometimes this is not going to appear so just change one of these to height blend apply it and then back to the weight plane and it's going to appear here so now we're gonna go and click this plus icon and select the weight blended layer and we're gonna click ok and the same for the dirt and now whole landscape is green and if we select this dirt and paint it we're gonna have an ability to paint the dirt now on our landscape and you can see that this is not really detailed this is blurry and ugly and we can fix this with the height blend so we're gonna go and change this dirt from weight blend to the height blend and we're gonna use for example this variation texture that we used on our grass and if we plug this just to the height dirt 
and you can see that this looks so much better just with this simple texture and the better way to do this is actually to make your own texture not just the simple color and make and hate texture for that texture now we're gonna go back to our landscape material and we're gonna create a landscape grass output we're gonna choose our new landscape grass type that we have created and we're gonna find a landscape layer sample so we want our grass to grow only on the green color which is the grass so we're gonna need to name this sample with the exactly same name as this layer grass so we're just gonna call it grass and we're gonna plug this into our grass and if we now apply this and we're gonna have our grass everywhere on the landscape now. I'm gonna boost the density a little bit. And if we paint this dirt on the landscape, and you can see that the grass is disappearing where I paint the dirt. And if you want to control the size of the height map, you can do it the same way like we did here in our grass shader just the same notes take the world position divide it and mask it out now i am going to make a little changes to the grass shader so i'm going to delete this color and delete this layer and i'm going to plug the random virtual texture right into this layer and now i'm going to duplicate this gradient and i'm going to rename this as an gradient wind line strength and i'm going to plug this into this alpha now i am going to save this okay so the last thing i have done to this grass i have remodeled it and i have just added these flat bottoms because it just looks better okay so this is it for this tutorial i hope it was useful for at least someone and if you like it subscribe and bye bye